Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Today we are diving into note-taking apps with a graph view and I believe that a graph view is an amazing way to see the connection between your notes. I like to see them visually and I know that a lot of other people do as well. So in today's video we are just going to cover the apps that have a graph view view and talk a little bit about how the graph views work inside of different apps. And the first app we have right here is actually AnyType. I wanted to open this up but I've been struggling to actually open the app after the last update so I will need to reinstall it. Uh, but this is a new note-taking app that is quite similar to something like Notion. I've posted a lot of videos about it. I even have a whole playlist about any type, so I won't dive too deep into this, but this has a beautiful looking graph view. It is uh, based off of objects. So this is object-based note-taking, as you can see right here. And it has an amazing graph view that allows you to see how everything is connected together. And it also is really beautiful to look out look at so that was uh the first app and this is called anytype uh, and it is free to use as well they are implementing some paid plans but just to use the app and to be able to take notes on your computer is free it is still in early stages so it needs a bit more development but it is developing quite fast and it is a solid option for a note-taking app especially if you are very privacy focused since this stores your files locally on your computer. The next one we have here is called Ample Note and Ample Note does have a graph view as well but this is only available on the pro plan and the pro plan is priced at $5.84 per month for the pro plan or the unlimited plan which is ten dollars each month so it isn't too bad but with the pro plan you get the graph view here as well this app revolves around the idea of uh, idea execution funnel where it is supposed to be really easy to take a note and to take uh, and to write down a task in said note and be able to get it in your task and schedule it in your calendar. So it allows you to do all of those things inside of one app. And it is great for people who uses GTD as their task method, but it also has a graph view, which allows you to see how different things are connected together. Again, the graph view is only available on the pro plan, but the overall app is really good. It might not look as good as some of the uh, other apps on, uh, on this list, uh, but it does the job quite well and it has great functionality as a note taker, as a task app and even as a place to do calendar blocking. The next app we have is an app I haven't touched on before. This is called Nuclino. And Nuclino is sort of a project manager. And just to take a look at the pricing here, uh, it has a couple of pricing points. We have the yearly price, which is $60 each year, excluding taxes. Uh, and we have the monthly price, which is $6 per month. That's for one seat and without the AI. Uh, if I add the AI here, this goes up to $12 each month and $120 each year. Uh, and this is more tailored towards teams, but I have been playing around with it a while back as... Um, just as a solo user it allows you to create lists boards which is basically kanban boards tables and it has a graph view where things are linked uh, together so if we just jump into my list here this allows me to take notes as i would in any other note taking app if i do backslash we have canvas here uh, which is a really cool feature uh, that a lot of apps are actually coming out with. We have tables, we have apps and integrations. You can upload files, upload images, date, mention, tasks. 
uh, you have the different headings here and you can also do backlinks or mention uh, another note using this or you could actually mention a per person i will mention myself right here as i said this is more tailored towards teams and i would say that it is better for teams than it is for personal use but it is possible to use this for personal use as well if you like to have list board and table views uh, with the graph view this is a good option but i would personally say that there are better options out there if you're looking for just a note taker and a way to take notes and connect different notes together if you're looking for a full-fledged productivity app especially if you are working on a team this could be an option because it has the graph view but apart from that it offers a lot of the same that things like any type and notion does as well and the pricing as i said is tailored towards teams uh, if, whenever you see that tax is not included in the price it is probably because they are trying to sell to businesses and not to consumers the next app we have here is called Super Notes, another app I have touched on before uh, and one I really like, an uh, app I think is really good. This offers note cards where you can take different notes inside of the note cards and the note cards have um, what's called um, a character limit, a soft character limit, which uh, just means that it will... Uh, give you a um, prompt whenever you are writing longer than the character limit. Let's see if I can find one of my notes here. Uh, I can actually search for feel good productivity. As you can see here, if I now jump into this, it says that it is 305 characters over the soft limit, which means that you can actually do longer form writing inside of this as well. But this app wants you to make uh, your notes in sort of a bite size where it is easy for you to actually digest what's inside of the note. So we have uh, how things are linked together here. These dashes you see here are backlinks while these uh, are actually uh, nested cards or nested pages so you can nest one uh, card within another one and these will appear like this you can also get a 3d view which moves which is really cool and it is a fun way to look at your uh to look at your notes i haven't quite figured out how i would use something like this but it looks cool i like the 2d version a lot better this allows me to see how everything is nested and how everything is connected together so uh, a good graph view uh, not necessarily the best graph view out there but the app has a lot of great functionality with the ability to nest cards to have tasks a thoughts which is just an inbox where you can place things it has tags backlinks and it evolves around markdown so the next app is called twos and twos uh, does not actually have backlinks but it has a graph view and a lot of uh, people do not know that this has a graph view so basically how the graph view works is you have a list and you have things or sub lists inside of here so this is my social media list and I have a bunch of sub lists right here so you can see how your lists are connected together with out backlinks the uh, graph view doesn't offer as much as it would in an app with backlinks but it offers you a way to see how your different lists are connected together and how sub lists are nested within other sub lists and you could use this to just go through your different notes as well so again not necessarily the best back uh, best graph view but it has a uh, it has one uh, which is more than a lot of other note-taking apps but I wouldn't use this just for the graph view. The graph view is just a great add-on to the app. Then we have a couple of uh, 
apps that are familiar to most people. The first one is Obsidian, which has one of, if not the best graph view, uh, or at least the best app. This can become, uh, I think that this is one of the best apps out there because it can become everything you want it to be with the plug-in system. You can have everything from databases to just a way to take and connect notes and the graph view looks really good as well um, and it is also privacy focused it uh, uh, stores all of your files locally in a markdown format I'm not going to say too much about this app because most people know it already it is an amazing note-taking app and a lot of people are using this and enjoying this which i understand because it is a really amazing application so when it comes to pricing on this this is actually free to use you can pay for add-ons such as syncing i think it's eight dollars each month if uh, billed annually and ten dollars each month if billed monthly if i'm not mistaken uh, but you can also use third-party sync solutions like iCloud Sync, which is what I did when I tried out uh, Obsidian for a week or two. And so there are options to just use this completely free. The last app I'm going to talk about is quite similar to Obsidian. It is called LogSec, and this has the same pricing structure where you basically can use it for free. They are working on a sync solution here as well, which you can get if you uh, donate. I think it's $5 each month to the development of this app. You can get the sync, but the sync isn't quite ready to be uh, pushed out yet. So there may be some minor problems with it, but you have a graph view here. It is an outliner. So it is a little bit different than Obsidian because you can take bullet points as notes and you can have bullet points within other bullet points as you can see here so nested bullet points which is something i know a lot of people like i'm not personally a big fan of the outlining method that's why i don't use this a whole lot but it uh, also stores your files locally in a markdown format it has whiteboards just like obsidian has uh, canvases it has flashcards a journal and it also has a plugin system where you can add different plugins to this amazing app great graph view that allows you to see how things are linked together one thing i want to mention about this graph view is that it doesn't seem like my um, notes appear in here until i've actually linked them to another note that might be something i've done wrong uh, but you can also inside of this app actually um remove things from your uh, graph so journal pages or daily pages orphan pages built-in pages excluded pages and so on so both this and obsidian offers a whole lot and it is free to use and it can be free even for syncing the only problem I have with uh, these two apps is the fact that it has a huge learning curve. But if you're willing to learn this app, the both Obsidian and LogSec offers a great way for you to be able to see how your different notes are connected and to introduce more serendipity into your note taking both of them are great options. I would say that Obsidian is better for long form while this is an outliner, so I would mainly do outlining inside of this, even though it is possible with some uh, CSS to uh, take longer notes inside of LogSec as well. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below, uh, and I hope to see you again quite soon.